بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Assalamualaikum hi guys welcome to another part of 8810 ORP analyzer which is related to different methods of calibration as i told you before it is easiest task of this analyzer if you go through all parts of this analyzer then i'm sure you can handle about 80% faults which you may can face during your calibration process okay now we discuss about the calibration methods it has two main calibration methods number 1 standard solution calibration and second is process calibration or process adjustment or sometimes known as online calibration these methods are same as any ordinary analyzer in this part i will not discuss about the basic operation of analyzer even i will not discuss about orp graph i will only focus on calibration procedure of this analyzer if you want to know about basic operation or about orp graph I will recommend you to watch third part of this analyzer which is related to plotting ORP graph. Okay. First we will perform standard solution calibration. For this purpose we need standard solution of calcium which concentration should be at least 80% of upper range of analyzer. For example, if analyzer working range is from 0 to 250 mg per liter then calibration solution concentration should be 200 mg or more for proper calibration the preparation procedure of calcium standard solution reagents and cleaning solutions are mentioned in installation manual manual of 8810 orp analyzer if you want this document then find the link in description description you can download this document from there from there However I will describe the preparation procedure of standard solution of calcium for this purpose we need dehydrated calcium chloride greater than 99% I am using dehydrated calcium chloride manufactured by sigma but you can use any manufacturer as per availability first we will prepare stock solution take a graduated flask of 1 liter pour 147 g of dehydrated calcium chloride in flask then dissolve and fill up to 1 liter with demineralized water in second step prepare intermediate solution from stock solution take a graduated flask of 1 liter pour 100 ml of stock solution then fill up to 1 liter with demineralized water now you can prepare calcium standard for your target range according to this table for example If target range is 0 to 250 mg per liter then we need to prepare 200 mg standard solution for calibration for this purpose take graduated flask of 1 liter and introduce precisely 20 ml of intermediate solution with pipette then top up to 1 liter with demineralized water to prepare 200 mg per liter standard solution of calcium okay Now we will discuss about calibration. As I told you that this analyzer utilizes same methods of calibration as any ordinary analyzer. Like standard solution calibration and process calibration or process adjustment or online calibration. First, we will see calibration options under programming menu. To go inside programming menu, analyzer should be in stop condition. Then select programming. Press enter for 3 to 5 second to go inside programming menu. Then enter to calibration menu. Inside calibration menu there are two options. Number 1 is primary cal or primary calibration. Number 2 is system cal or system calibration. Primary calibration menu is used when analyzer started for first time. or after any major maintenance like electrodes replacement or after reagent pumps tube replacements primary calibration creates the primary slope for reference of next calibration after primary calibration slope is always 100% in normal condition 
we have to use system calibration menu. In system calibration, analyzer display final slope after comparing primary calibration slope. Usually, this slope is less than or more than 100%. By slope, by slope percentage, you can understand the working condition of analyzer. If system calibration slope decreasing day by day, this means analyzer some components are losing their efficiency. If this slope, if this slope reading is found near to 80% or less, then better to perform maintenance like replacement of reagent pump tubes if in case of peristeric pump. In case of micro piston pumps, better to adjust its flow to 2 ml per minute. Sometimes it's happened due to inconsistent sample volume in reactor or sample vessel. Sometimes electrolyte in ion selective electrodes need refill or electrodes need replacement. Okay, now we will perform primary calibration. In primary calibration menu, there are two options. Number one, manual syscal or manual system calibration. This calibration requires a laboratory prepared standard solution. Second is process syscal or process system calibration. This calibration utilizes process sample with known concentration. Before performing any type of calibration, keep endpoint value of analyzer in your mind. You can also see this endpoint parameter through reading menu without stopping analyzer normal operation. By, by endpoint, by endpoint value, you can understand that when titration process will finish. You can see it is minus 25 millivolt, which means titration will stop at minus 25 millivolt. Second thing which is important, it is application selection under PM menu. It should be decrement potential one point because we will perform one point calibration. Now, first we will perform manual system calibration by using laboratory prepared standard solution of calcium. For this purpose, go to calibration menu, enter to primary calibration, then select and enter to manual system calibration. Analyzer will perform all basic steps like draining and rinsing. After these steps, it will display fill calibration solution message. Fill sufficient amount of standard solution of calcium so it can activate siphon which ensure correct volume of sample in reactor. Then press enter. Then, analy then, then anal analyzer will follow next steps as in normal operation. It will dose conditioner through conditioner pump. After after this, titrant pump will start to perform titration. During titration, it is better to switch unit from milligram per liter to millivolt by pressing up or down key. By this way, you can see decreasing millivolt reading and millivolt behavior as well. After 8 to 10 minutes, titration process will stop at endpoint value and you will see message to enter concentration of standard solution of calcium. Enter concentration and confirm by pressing enter key. After this, analyzer will show slope value 100% and store this value as a reference for future calibration. So this way, we have done primary manual system calibration successfully. Okay. No, if you don't have standard solution of calcium and calcium concentration of process is greater or near to 80% and stable as per laboratory result, then you can perform primary process system calibration. For this purpose, go to primary calibration in calibration menu, then select process system calibration and press enter.
calibration process will start and, anal and, and analyzer will follow all basic steps same as manual system calibration. But instead of asking to pour standard solution, analyzer will grab process sample as calibration standard. After completion of titration, analyzer will ask you to enter concentration of solution. In this case, it is reading of lab result. It is recommended that lab chemists should take more than two samples and ensure stability of calcium concentration in process. After entering concentration of solution, analyzer will show primary calibration slope 100% and store it as a reference for future calibration. Okay guys, these are two ways to perform primary calibration of this analyzer. Remember. As I told you, primary calibration should perform after first startup or after any major maintenance of analyzer. In normal condition, should use system calibration menu. As I told you in system calibration menu, slope result will calculate after comparing with the reference slope of primary calibration. Usually, this result will be less than 100%. There are two methods to perform system calibration. Number one, manual syscal or manual system calibration. Number two, process syscal or process system calibration. Before performing any calibration, make sure that analyzer in stop mode. Then go to programming menu. Press and hold enter key to enter in programming menu. Then go to system calibration. Select manual system calibration and press enter. For manual system calibration, Follow all steps as we did to perform primary manual system calibration. Same way pour standard solution when analyzer will ask and after completion of titration enter the concentration of standard solution when analyzer demands. At the end it will show slope value which will be less than 100%. Ok now we will select the process system calibration of system calibration menu to perform process calibration. For process system calibration, follow all step as we did to perform process calibration in primary calibration menu. After startup of calibration process, it is better to switch unit from milligram per liter to millivolt to understand the behavior of electrodes. Analyzer will perform all basic steps like draining and rinsing. After this, it will grab process sample as a standard solution of calibration. Observe millivolt behavior during titration because it is extremely important. This titration will stop at end point which is currently minus 25 millivolt. As I told you this in this part I will only focus on those steps which are related to calibration process. So I will skip some part of titration. If you want to know about the detailed process please watch third part of this analyzer which is related to plotting or pick graph. Now you can see near to auto end point millivolt rate of change is high and at minus 25 millivolt titration has been stopped which is end point of analyzer. Now after titration analyzer will update both display with new calcium reading and give you option to enter correct calcium reading as per lab result. After entering calcium concentration, analyzer will display slope value in percentage. As you can see, it is 99.5% which is less than 100%. You can also see this value in calibration parameter menu. In this menu, you can see slope in percentage. And right top corner, you can see alphabet O which represents method of calibration. O means that slope and offset calculated by online calibration.
in place of O, there could be some other letters like A. A means slope and offset calculated by automatic calibration. P means slope and offset calculated by process calibration. M means slope and offset calculated by manual calibration. N means slope and offset calculated by primary calibration. If system calibration slope result less than 50% or more than 200% then analyzer will display calibration error. But I will recommend you if system calibration slope result near to 80% or near to 120% then better to perform maintenance of analyzer. Most probably it is due to aging of tubes of reagent pumps. Better to replace tubes. Sometime if millivolt slope is not normal, may you need to refill electrolyte of ion selective electrode or need to replace the electrode. Another calibration method which I want to show you that is online calibration. This calibration method is same like process system calibration, but for this you don't need to stop analyzer to go to the programming menu. You can perform online calibration at any state of analyzer without stopping it. You can perform this by using read menu. Let's see how it can be done. Currently analyzer in fixed time mode. Press select key for selection menu. Press up or down key to go to the read menu. Then press enter key for 3 second to 5 second until measurement display. Press up or down key to select calibration menu and press enter. Online menu will appear. Press up or down key to change from no to yes and press enter. Analyzer will switch from normal mode to calibration mode. All next steps will be same as other calibration method. Again switch unit from milligram per liter to millivolt to observe millivolt behavior of analyzer. After after auto endpoint, titration will finish at endpoint. Then analyzer will give you option to enter required concentration of calcium. After this immediately, slope result will display. If analyzer is already doing titration, even that time also you can perform online calibration. Guys, in this part we discussed about two major types of calibration. Number one, standard solution calibration. Number two, process calibration. Both types can be performed by two main calibration menus. Number one, primary calibration menu. Number two, system calibration menu. Primary calibration method used to create a reference slope for system calibration. The last thing, the last thing is online calibration, which you can perform through read menu at any state without stopping analyzer. Okay guys, hope you like this video and this is also useful for you and now hopefully you can perform all types of calibration of this analyzer. I try my best to give you maximum regarding this analyzer but nothing is perfect. I'm sure a lot of things are left. If you think some important things and able to discuss in this video, please share in comments. We will discuss that points also in our next video or any issue regarding this analyzer which you feel that it needs some discussion or it needs some solution, please share with us. We will try to solve this problem. So see you in our next video. Till that time, bye bye. Allah Hafiz.